Hi, I'm Bill Fry. I'm going to give you a brief tutorial on how to use the Activity Grader with Cisco NetSpace in grading packet tracer activities. The Activity Grader is an X app that's available within the packet tracer community in the community.netiked.net area. And I'll show you how to access that in just a little bit. First of all, you can see I'm in the, uh, the Cisco NetSpace classroom environment. I have several assignments that need to be graded. And one of the things in the past that's always taken me a lot of time is grading packet tracer activities. Uh, that's because typically you have to download the PK file, uh, extract, open up each single, uh, single file, and then add a grade to them. Okay? One of the things I like about uh, Cisco NetSpace is it allows you to download the submissions all in one folder with the students' names on them. Let me show you how to do this. Okay? You can see that uh, if I click on this link, it would take me to the speed grader. In this case, for packet tracer activities, uh, it's not the best use. So I'm going to go over here, and you can see I have 23 items that need grading. I'm going to go over to my assignments area. And you can see that I use a combination of just regular uh, in-person or labs that are done on net labs, uh, as well as packet tracer uh, labs um, in giving out lab assignments for my class. We're going to look at this Packet Tracer Lab 3513. And this is basically my lab description. And you'll see I have a, uh, a button over here that says Download Submissions or a link over here. Okay? So I'm going to click on that. What happens now is a, a zip file is created that uh, when I open it up, you'll notice that it's a listing of all the Packet Tracer activities that were submitted. But it also has the students' names listed, and these are going to be blurred out just for privacy's sake. Uh, but it also shows a, um, an ID uh, that's associated with uh, 53513, which gives the information about which lab it came from. So, but they're all in one folder. I'm going to uh, pause the video here, and I'm actually going to uh, extract these to uh, a regular folder uh, that through a little bit of magic, you'll see that I now have uh, a folder in the back end here called Submissions 3513. If you open it up, it's the same files here. I'm now going to open up Packet Tracer. Okay. Uh, and with Packet Tracer, I'm going to go ahead and just close this folder in the back end. With Packet Tracer, I've already installed the X app for uh, um, Activity Grader. So I'm going to go over here to uh, Configure Apps. And you'll see I have Activity Grader listed here. I'm going to go ahead and launch the Activity Grader. Now, when you download the Activity Grader uh, packet uh, from the communities area, there will be instructions on how to properly download and install the Activity Grader. If you have questions about that, just please re respond uh, or post a question in the discussion thread. Here, I'm going to browse to that folder, the Submissions 3513 folder. So I need to get back up here to my desktop. Now I find submissions 3513. And I just added the 3513 to that zip file uh, when I extract it. So I know it's with Packet Tracer Activity 3513. I'm going to click on Open. Okay. And now great. What happens now is uh, this is going to take a few minutes. Uh, and again, there's 23 uh, items that, uh, or 24 uh, Packet Tracer activities that need to be graded. This is going to take about three to four minutes. It's going to run through these. Uh, and open up each one and extract the grade out. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video here again and we'll be right back. Okay, it took about three minutes, three to four minutes for all of the 24 activities to be open and closed. I did no extra work. And at the end of that uh, time, you'll see that a pop up window came up that said all activities are great. I'll sit up, hit OK. Close these windows. I'll go back to my folder that I had extracted all my submissions in. And now I have a results uh, CSV file. I'll open that up and it opens in Excel. And here you'll notice that I have the file name that also has my student's name in it. I'm going to close that up a little bit just to protect the, uh, the privacy of my students. But you'll notice that I have the subscores of how the students did in their respective areas, but then it also has the total percentage complete. 
Typically, the majority of my students will score 100% on the packet tracer files. And the only type of feedback that I have for those students uh, that did everything properly is great job, thank you, uh, 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 keep up the great work, etc. But this allows me to focus a little bit more time on some of the students that uh, didn't quite achieve 100% and give them more detailed feedback uh, and help them out and figure out where their shortcomings were. So the nice thing about the activity grader is I can go in here and actually do this uh, type of work. Also, what I typically would do is go into the grade book. Uh, and again, since uh, the exception is typically uh, uh, the students didn't do as well, I would go into the grade book and manually enter in the 100s, except for the few students that had poor performances, of which I would actually give them a, uh, a video response, a little maybe Camtasia or uh, uh, a Jing tutorial on showing them what they did wrong, and I can give them more of a uh, uh, or just you know a one-on-one -on -one session on uh, what their challenges were. So that's how I'm using uh, the activity grader. Okay. Um, now let me show you where to find the activity grader. If I go into community.netacad.net, I sign in. All right, here I am. There's a picture of me. If you don't know who I am, I go to uh, communities and offerings and then go to uh, packet tracer. Underneath the packet tracer, I click on uh, files. And then after I click on files, I'm going to go down to section 6 here for X apps and JavaScript files. And then you'll see here is Activity Grader X app. It's a zip file. And if you download this uh, file and extract it, uh, it will also give you information about how to download it, where to install it, because again, you need to put certain files in certain directories uh, and configure the X app. Okay, it's pretty straightforward once you get to it. All right, but hopefully this was a nice tips and tricks on using the Cisco NetSpace classroom area um, and how to uh, leverage the Packet Tracer Activity Grader to help you uh, use it in a more fulfilling way. All right, thank you and have a great day.